Hello, everybody. Today, we will be talking about elevated blood pressure. If you or you know of anybody who is suffering from elevated blood pressure, or if you are worried about being diagnosed with blood pressure, or if you need to know about ways to prevent yourself from becoming hypertensive, which is elevation of blood pressure, or from being a victim of the secondary effect of elevated blood pressure, well, right here, right now, we are going to answer all these questions. Thank you once again for being here. My name is JB, and I'm the host of the Go JB Health Show. Welcome. Go JB Health. Go JB. Go JB. Go JB. Go. Go JB Health. Go JB. Go JB. Once again, welcome to the Go JB Health Show. We are about to talk about elevated blood pressure, elevation of blood pressure, which we call hypertension. So we'll be telling you what you can do to prevent yourself from having high blood pressure. But also if you have high blood pressure, we'll tell you exactly what you should be doing to keep it under control. But also we'll be telling you the things that if you don't do that could cause you to end up with complications with uh, elevated blood pressure right here on go jb health dorothy how you doing uh, queen clark uh, how you doing um everybody who is connecting the people who are already tapping on the screen i am already telling you a very big Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for the support. Right here, we're going to answer a lot of other questions throughout the show. But stay here, relax. Don't go anywhere. But stay here because we are about to really discuss a lot of the things that you maybe your doctor would not have time to discuss with you once again my name is jb i'm a family practitioner and i do this show just to help educate my brothers and sisters about a lot of those issues a lot of the things that we are inflicting in us or that are being inflicted in us or on us that could have been prevented so pretty much the purpose of this talk show is really to help educate people on better ways to maybe taking care of themselves on better ways my friend keys how you doing um so on better ways to take care of themselves on better ways to prevent complications from different diseases so today once again if you just join we'll be talking about high blood pressure we'll be giving you some very very interesting information my friend Carol who just say good afternoon handsome good afternoon my queen Carol uh, Williamson thank you for being here but yeah we'll be talking about blood pressure we'll be telling you a lot of the things that you could do that you may not even be aware of the things that you could do to help you so you will not end up with elevated blood pressure but also we'll be talking about what you should be doing if you are currently uh, somebody who is dealing with blood pressure uh, especially if you have family history there's a lot of things that we could give you a lot of techniques that we'll be giving you uh, my friend Carol thank you for tapping on the screen everybody who is already tapping again if you haven't followed this platform yet please follow me so you know whenever I'm live the next time also this whole show will be loaded on the YouTube YouTube page at go JB health this is where I am on all the social media platform that's where I am but once again welcome and thank you for being here I love to see all of you already here connected for education <laughs> thank you Go, 
Carol, thank you for tapping on the like. Thank you for liking. Uh, again, everybody else who is tapping, I'm very appreciative of you guys. As I always say, you guys are the support of the show. You guys are part of why I continue to do this. It's not because I have time, but because I have so many of you who encourage me to continue to do this. Now, we are going to talk about high blood pressure. So the first thing is... We need to understand when we talk about blood pressure, we need to understand. Again, part of what I do when I do those talk, I try to make sure that I make people understand how this whole thing works as it comes to the body. That's why I, I call this show teaching you to be the mechanic of your body because what I do is teaching you, making you understand how the body works and therefore you understand what's going on and on the body. Uh, and if you understand what's going on in the body, then it helps you to better do things to take care of it. So what is blood pressure? Well, blood pressure is nothing but the same type of pressure that you know in anything. So one of the things that could be the simplest that I could explain to you is the pressure of a hose that you are using. So the hose that you're using to water your plant. So Willie, really, it's just this type of pressure. It's no different, okay? So blood pressure is when those vessels, because remember, we have the heart that is pumping blood into the system. So we have the heart is pumping blood. So then we have those vessels. It's like you have a heart, you have a heart. We could look at the heart as being a pump, okay? You could look at any pump. So it's like if you're doing irrigation, for instance. So you have a pump that is pumping blood everywhere. And then the vessels are the pipes that carry out the water to water those plants in the irrigation system. So the heart is exactly the same thing. So you have a pump um, that is pumping. And then the vessels are the pipes that carries the blood out to everywhere. Now, when we talk about blood pressure, again, we could explain blood pressure. It's just as it is. You have pressure within your blood. Pressure in the blood, really what it is, it's really pressure, mainly pressure in the vessel. So, for some reason, those vessels start having more pressure. Now, let's look at it. If you have an irrigation system and you have an Join vessels. How are you doing? Thank you for being here. So, um, queen join vessel. So, uh, the pressure is like if you have pressure. Let's say you have an irrigation system. You have if you have pressure, there are two things that will be affected. Number one, the pump will be affected because now the pump has to push harder to push that blood or that water, whatever the pump is pushing, if you increase the pressure, the pump will work harder. So therefore, that's already answered one question for us. Elevated blood pressure causes your heart to work harder. So again, now we could, we're going we're gonna to look at what causes of elevated blood pressure because first of all, let's see what it does. So you have elevation and pressure. Everybody would agree with me that in any system where there is pressure, whenever you elevate the pressure, whatever the medium, whatever the engine that is pushing uh, through those vessels or through those pipes, it will have to work harder because it's working against more resistance, against more pressure. So number one, our heart will be working harder. Number two, you're going to have those vessels when you have the pressure. So the vessels will have high chance of being ruined. The filtration system will also be affected because, again, uh, yeah, my friend is on lisinopril. Great. So when you have this filtration system, remember, so in the, in the system in a body, we have the system where the pump pumps the blood, but you also have the filtration system, which is the kidney. So, when your blood pressure is elevated, then it causes you at risk for heart disease, because it, obviously it's making your heart 
work harder. That's why a lot of people may have, um, sometimes they, you may go to your doctor, they may tell you that your heart is a little enlarged. Okay, because what happens is that pressure, the muscles of the heart, the more they work, if you overwork them, obviously they will become bigger in size because there's a higher demand. Okay, so again, we're talking about why we're trying to keep our pressure down. Why? So now, what we don't want is you know those damage to those organs. Uh, we don't want things like a stroke, having a stroke. So these are the things that we don't want to happen because with elevated blood pressure, they will happen. It's a matter of when, but they will happen. Things like damage to the kidney. I don't know if you know, but one of the number one causes of kidney failure is actually elevated blood pressure pressure that's one of the main causes of kidney disease so if your blood pressure is elevated then uh it's it stays elevated then you are running the risk of damaging your kidney of damaging your heart of damaging your blood vessels remember your blood vessels are those pipes that keeps you alive that keeps every thing in your body keep them to be oxygenated and everything so when you messed up blood vessels when you're talking about blood vessels then now you really uh now you're in trouble you know what i'm saying so uh somebody say how can you tell your heart is enlarged you gotta have to go they will do an ultrasound of your heart and everything that's how they will determine uh to see uh if you have uh, if you're thinking that so definitely you need to go our primary care can actually we from here you could order a car uh, echocardiogram like an ultrasound of your heart but usually too if you start having heart symptoms we most likely gonna send you to a cardiologist to a specialist you know so uh somebody say uh their mom died from a large heart i'm sorry to hear that um good thursday uh nice seeing you here uh my friend Joel, how you doing thank you nice seeing you as well so uh hospital hospital love you stay safe well thank you uh i'm going to the i'm going at the hospital well are you i'm hoping you're going to work there not that you're sick i'm hoping that you're just going uh there just uh you know so just to visit or to work i'm hoping uh so but keep us posted uh You're very welcome. I'm glad I'm back. I was here yesterday as well, just so you know. I just didn't, I just wasn't sure that I was going to be on today. But then, as I said, usually if I'm here, if I don't, if I'm not so busy seeing patients, sometimes I go ahead and uh, I say, well, let me spend a little time with my friends here. Uh, it's just going to be like a more like a short time of session today. But I wanted to be here and talk about elevated blood pressure as it is something that i'm dealing with a lot here in my office so i see a lot of patients with problem with uh, elevated blood pressure so i wanted to uh, come by and talk about this now why is it so important that we have to talk about blood pressure why is it so important that your doctor is on you telling you every day well you gotta keep that blood pressure control uh that's cool and lovely okay well i'm i'm happy that uh you know i could be here so why is it that your doctor always tell you you need to keep your blood pressure control you need to keep your blood pressure control why well as we we're talking we were talking about the pressure when you have elevation of pressure we said what it would cause besides having a stroke you are looking or you are running the risk of having things like heart attack like enlarged heart heart failure uh you running the risk of having issue like uh kidney disease like we were telling because again for your kidney let's talk about how the blood pressure is gonna damage your kidney so the kidney has that filtration system so the filtration system 
is like let's look at you have a pipe and you water in your plant but then you put a lot of pressure on the on that pipe that you're using to water your plant okay let's just say that so what happens is what's gonna happen when you try to water the plant it will derute the plant it will kind of uh just go in there it will kind of uh cause an erosion of the dirt that is in your garden that's exactly what's going to do so well when you have a high pressure going through your filtration system like through your kidney it actually does the same thing so now what it does it's actually messed up the filtration system where it's like you have a strainer and then now the strainer if you're pushing too much pressure on that strainer you may cause those little holes to get larger and when it gets larger know what will happen well what's going to happen is that now you're going to have things that you didn't want to get into the blood will get into the blood because the filter or the strainer that we have in our kidney is not going to work as well because of the fact that it got ruined by the pressure now the thing is it's very important to talk about how a doctor would tell you that you need to keep your blood pressure under control but you know a lot of people are mistaken and i know i always talk about this they're mistaken keeping your blood pressure under control versus taking medications did you know that taking medicine is different from keeping your blood pressure under control? I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Everybody who is tapping on the screen, everybody who is sharing this live, I appreciate you. Once again, if you're new to this platform, I encourage that you follow me. My name is JB. I'm a family practitioner. I try to my very, very best. I try my very best to educate people to share my knowledge with my brothers and sisters so when you share me you support what i do so again once again please follow me you could always subscribe me on youtube as well uh madame sophia bonjour how you doing uh, thank you for being here so uh i appreciate you my queen uh, nicole how you doing it's been a moment how is everybody going so how is your family i'm happy that you're back here but once again i am doing my best for those of you who don't know what we do here is educate people so we talk about different topics today we are talking about uh, my friend from south africa thank you for being here today we're talking about elevated blood pressure every day we come up with a different topics we answer a lot of questions my friend sophia thank you for giving me the gifts the roses thank you very much so and if you have not done so, please follow me so you know whenever I'm live. Again, once once again, Sophia is giving us a lot of gifts on the show here. So thank you, Sophia. Thank you for the roses. Appreciate you. You know how much I appreciate a queen like you. Thank you very much. But um, you could also subscribe me. Hello, my friend, Beverly Thomas, uh, Queen Beverly Thomas. Thank you for being here. So the other thing is uh, if you want to follow me on uh, Nicole, thank you for the uh, beautiful fire that you sent me. I appreciate you. So the other thing that I encourage that you do is uh, subscribe me on YouTube so you know whenever I post those videos. This full show, if you miss anything, will be posted on YouTube you guys know you could always become a subscriber to this platform just like uh, queen nicole is a subscriber has that go jb name tag next to her name all you have to do is on top you click on subscribe or you click on the uh gold star and you will allow you to do that once again uh, thank you everybody who is supporting me who is supporting this great show this great education again once again that's what we do here we educate people The reason I'm saying there, there it's there's a big difference between 
your blood pressure being controlled versus the medications that you're taking. The reason is because I have met so many people, including some of my patients, including friends. A lot of the time, they are shocked that, okay, well, how am I at risk for stroke? But I take my medications every day. The problem is you need to take the medicine. But as I always say, you need to make sure that the medicine that you are taking is actually working for you. Because what happens, beta blocker, that's pretty good. Um, if you're on a beta blocker, yeah, that's pretty good medications. Uh, it's not the first uh, medication that we usually prescribe, but it's pretty good medicine. So the thing is, I want you to make sure you get in the habit of possibly make that investment of getting you a blood pressure cuff so you could control your blood pressure so you know where it is. So you don't just think it is okay because you're taking your medicine because you could take all this medicine, but then your blood pressure may be not control. So the purpose of me here or me being here is to make sure that we keep you safe so the first thing is try to prevent things from happening to you um, but also is to make sure that if it happens to you we want to prevent all the complications that could come with um, you know my friend Ingrid Ingrid my queen Ingrid is here people so how you doing Ingrid is also a subscriber to our platform thank you Ingrid thank you for being here I appreciate it uh, I have one and I took my number so yeah so great my friend who said she has a blood pressure cough and she takes her numbers because it's even more important to check your numbers versus taking your medication or it's as as important as uh, taking your numbers is as important as making sure that the medications are working. Because the reason I emphasize on this is because I have a lot of issues. Ingrid, thank you for giving me the, uh, I know you just start. And here we go, giving us all these gifts. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. The, pre the reasons that I'm talking I'm trying to emphasize on the taking of the medication and the b b blood pressure being under control is because a lot of the time I have a lot of patients who comes in here, they you give them the medicine and you tell them like we have a blood pressure chart here. So we give you the blood pressure chart. We ask you to call me and let me know how the medication is doing because a lot of the time we cannot drop the blood pressure too low too quickly because also that could actually cause a stroke just, you know, for, you know, if you just need to know. So the thing is we have to start giving you a little bit of medicine hoping that we will be able to get it a little lower and then you call us then we we give you a little bit of higher dose until we titrate the medicine where you get to the level where you need to be but what happens a lot of people they come in and they never they never come back i tell a lot of my patients if it's for the money come back if you don't have the money, I'll manage. I'll take care of the visit for you. I'll just tell them to give you, you know, a voucher where you don't even have to pay. Because I want you to have a proper control of your blood pressure. Because once again, if your blood pressure is not properly controlled, you are running the risk of having a lot of issues such as uh, heart disease. We're talking about kidney disease. We're talking about stroke. There's a lot of damage that you could inflict in yourself that may not be necessary. The other thing is I encourage people to make sure you eat that low salt diet. I know it's very difficult. I know it's not easy. I live in Georgia, so I'm in the south. So usually our food are very greasy, very salty. So it looks like sometimes when you are used to that salt, it's always feel like if something is not salty, it doesn't feel good to you and your taste bud. But you know what? The good thing that you could do for yourself, and maybe today you should join me in doing this because I am myself doing this today. So you should try to start eating low salt food. Try to reduce the amount of salt that you put in your food. What's going to happen, the first thing that you're going to notice when you go to the restaurant and you got yourself that, that chicken sandwich, you got yourself that steak, you taste it and you call them, you say, well, it has too much seasoning. You'll say, well, it's too salty. You know why? Because you start eating 
properly because you stop eating that high salt that's really only damaging your body. So if you have elevated blood pressure or if you are at risk of developing elevated blood pressure like me who has both parents with high blood pressure, um, my mom actually died from, uh, from complications of blood pressure because she ended up with kidney disease. So I am black, as you could see. So all these things are putting me at risk. Therefore, you know what I do? Very early on, everybody who is tapping on the screen, I appreciate you. Everybody who is liking the video, I appreciate you. Everybody who is newly following me, I appreciate you. So the thing is, because I'm at risk, right now what I do is make sure that I eat low salt diet. I exercise, okay? I reduce, even like I reduce things like uh, fried food and all those, I reduce those because what happens, we have to take the, we have to take care of our own selves. I understand some people say, well, I'm taking the, medic, the medicine. One thing that I want you to know, today I am being a family practitioner. I, of course, I'm licensed to prescribe medicine. So I'm gonna prescribe medicine. But my happiness is seeing you be able to do something with your life. Changing your way of living. Do some lifestyle modifications that could help you. So you don't end up having to take all of these medicine. Those medicines, they're important. And when you have to take them, we don't have a choice. But I wish, uh, my friend Thendi, how are you doing? Thank you for being here. But I wish that we had the ability to do something naturally so we don't end up taking this medicine because just so you know a lot of this medicine it's like being and it's like <laughs> enslave yourself and taking those things because once you start taking them then it's like oh yeah now I need to take more of it because it's, it's no longer working. My body get used to it. Well, I'm taking this, but it's causing this other side effect. Then I have to take that one. So it's so many. And some of the people that have been going through issues, they could tell you, you, if you have not been, uh, if you have not been taking medications or you just like me, you don't, you may not really know much about this. But really, it is a reality. You start taking this, then later on you need to take that because this is causing that. So, therefore, to me, the best thing to do is today you could join me in this great journey. The journey of a low soul diet. The journey of exercising regularly. Even though if you can't go to the gym just like I do, but you could always walk in your neighborhood this is the best journey the journey of heading toward a better health without introducing all these chemicals in our bodies once again if you need it i have a lot of my patients here who are taking blood pressure medications but some of them i have been able to work with them and they do so much exercising they do so much of low salt diet and i have been able to even some of them taking them off the medications again once again we know blood pressure is a chronic issue but remember a lot of these chronic issues too they are based on lifestyle so if you are so sedentary you don't walk out at all you don't do any type of exercise you overweight and you're eating very salty food. You get those salty chicken that you're eating from a lot of those stores that I don't have to do a free uh, marketing for them. But then you know you are running that risk of you ending up with elevated blood pressure. And once again, if you are black, it's unfortunately putting you at an even higher risk. But now that we know this, this information, now that we have the knowledge, we can do something about it, right? I mean, again, I understand it's not as easy. We have to go to work. We get busy and everything. But you know what? We only have one body. Now that you may say you're busy, you cannot try to eat better. But once you end up with some, say, let's say you end up with elevated blood pressure, 
then elevated blood pressure maybe you continue to be non-compliant you're not taking good care of it now you end up with kidney disease okay do you know when you have kidney disease i know we had a show on kidney disease here before but you have to go on dialysis so many days it's a pain well, you didn't have time, but guess what? You're going to have time to go through all these doctors. You're going to have time to go. So why don't we create the time right now? My friend, user 35, how are you doing? So why don't we create this time right now? So we can take care of our body. Therefore, it's going to be more economic to us because believe it or not, you're going to go somewhere. Uh, if you go to the emergency room, it's a big bill. You may have insurance, that's fine, but sometimes you have high co-pays. You're going to have to miss so many days at work to be doing all this. So why don't right now that we're healthy, why don't we use the proper measures so we don't end up with those complications? Remember, this show is the full purpose of what I'm doing is what it is. It's wishing to see so many of my brothers and sisters take the very good direction become more conscientious of their health of how frail they are as human and to be very conscientious of the things that they can do themselves without having anybody to do it for you actually nobody can actually do this for you but you yourself you could do this just so you can take care of yourself you can continue to be happy you can continue to be healthy those are things that you could do it doesn't cost you anything to say hey when i cook my food now i'm gonna reduce uh my friend denise how you doing thank you for being here it doesn't cost you a penny to say that hey i am going to reduce the amount of salt that i'm <laughs> that i'm eating uh in my food it doesn't cost you anything to say well you know what i know this restaurant selling all this salty food i'm gonna stop eating it so uh you're very welcome my dear you're very very welcome again once again everybody who is tapping on the screen people who are commenting people who are sharing i'm very appreciative of you just so you know if you miss anything this whole show will be available on our youtube platform if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel go to at go jb health subscribe to the youtube channel so you could know when i post those videos again if you haven't followed me on tiktok you could always click on the follow button so you could be part of this very important priceless effort that we are doing here the effort of educating as many people i could only do this because i have you who is helping me i can only do this i have you who is supporting me by sharing what i post and everything uh in the past two months we reach over three million people i can only do this because i have you I can only do this because you said yes, you think this is important, that people should know about high blood pressure because it's something that is very common in our c communities. We have so many people end up with stroke. We have so many dialysis centers everywhere that we have never seen before. So the thing is, you sharing, you supporting is uh, it's a way for us to bring the awareness uh, like my friend uh, 30 mo 30 30 mammon 30 mo 30 mammon uh, thank you for sharing so the thing is when you share when you like when you support when you encourage then you are encouraging something that could save many people you're talking encouraging something that could change the outcome for so many people because again if you look on this platform if you see everything that i do you will see that everything that i do is about educating you first to prevent the complications it's educating you first to prevent you from getting those diseases those issues but again also educating you if you are already with the condition i will educate you on how to manage it how to make sure it's managed and how to prevent any complications that may come with it if you are new to this platform my name is jb i am currently in georgia mainly i am in smyrna georgia so i work at all care health clinic which is this clinic here i work at all care health clinic i also work 
in the hospital just in case if you want to know what my background is I also work in the hospital as part of a hospitalist group uh, once again what we do here is educate people this is something we have a passion about sometimes we do it while we see in our patients now we get to the point where I block my schedule just so I could be here as I said this is one of the best time of my day is the time when I sit here talking to those lovely people talking to a lot of queen a lot of prince a lot of princess a lot of people a lot of king here who really support what i do this is what makes me happy this is one of the biggest part of my day when i feel like i could share the knowledge that i have with some people that i love so again once again i'm very appreciative that you tap in on the like button like thindy thank you for liking Ray, thank you for liking. Uh, uh, this is Ray Barra. Thank you for liking. Once again, everybody, thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the Go JB Health Show. Go JB, go, go JB Health. Go JB. Just so you know, just so you know. This show is very different. So if you are new here, you may wonder, well, why does he have a background music? I just felt like uh, talking to a lot of people who support me, they like that. We try to make it very decontracted. So we answer questions while we live. We acknowledge people. Actually, if it's your birthday today, let me know so we could sing happy birthday to you. We acknowledge everybody who is here. We thank you and we try to tell you how much we appreciate that you liking us, a uh, friend like like Roy Barbara, like Thindy, the people, so uh, Renee Clark, my queen Renee Clark. So everybody who is helping us, who is supporting us, we try to do it in a way where we could interact with you. Instead of sitting here and just give you a speech, instead of doing it just like somebody, like a pastor who is preaching a sermon, we make it different where you could ask us a question. It's not like you just say amen, but yeah, you could just ask us a question. <laughs> We could have a conversation. That's what we do here on Good JB Health. Sandra, how you doing, Sandra? Cindy asking a question. How much salt is too much salt? That's a good question. Now, as far as the amount of salt that you should put in your food, that is a very good question that my queen Cindy asked. It's more like a low salt diet. Again, I am not a cook. Well, I cook a little bit, but I'm not really a chef. Let's see, I'm not a chef. So a lot of those measurements, I'm not very familiar with them. I cannot tell you, well, if you're cooking this amount of rice, you got to put this amount of salt. But really, I'm just going to call it. Thank you for the people who are tapping on the screen. We are reaching the 10,000 K right now. Uh, please continue to tap on the screen so really what i would say thank you Rene clark for the for the love for the appreciation i appreciate you uh, my queen so really what i would say is just eat a low salt diet i'll call it a low salt diet a, a diet that has low salt in it i don't know that i have some exact numbers as far as telling you how many teaspoon of salt that you should put on there and again this would vary as well based on recipes so we would have to give you a lot of recipes here to say okay if you're cooking chicken this is what you do if you're cooking rice this is what you do if you're cooking um, guys i'm from haiti that's why you know rice and chicken 
<laughs> that's the first that's my first thing to think about but anyway so whatever you're cooking you would have to know i would have to give you a measurement for all of them so it would be a little difficult however my thing is just do a low salt diet and again those are the things that could prevent you from becoming hypertensive i can guarantee you if you keep doing good exercises you eating a low salt diet you are making sure you avoid all those processed food those canned food because remember a lot of these canned food processed food they have very high content of they have very high salt content on them so if you avoid all these things you will sit here and see that your blood pressure is dropping or you're gonna see your blood pressure is normalizing or sometimes you may see yourself uh being able to be off medications now one thing that i have to say also the people who are tapping on the screen i see you i see who you are thank you very much appreciate you but the one thing that i want to say never think that because you exercise because you are eating a low salt diet that you could take yourself off the blood pressure medications what you need to make sure is make sure if you think that you are losing weight you think you're doing a great job i want you to work with your primary care provider with your doctor work with them before you decide to change anything you should never swap your medications or stop your medications without talking to your primary care provider or whoever is managing that blood pressure you gotta talk to them it's not about you doing the things you're doing but it's about the numbers we have to look at the numbers we have to be comfortable with where you are so we could tell you right now you could go ahead maybe stop taking the blood pressure medicine and we could watch it we could say come up you know come back in the office in a, in a few weeks or on a month or something so we see where we at we ask you to check it and yeah uh garlic uh yes garlic uh a lot of people have seen uh, a lot of benefits on using garlic for elevated blood pressure but again to be honest with you uh those things that i were we just discussed are sufficient enough if you follow these rules of low salt diet exercising i can guarantee you your blood pressure will drop i can guarantee you at least you're not gonna need to take so many so many different pills and again once again if you're taking those pills uh, i think for those of you who have not seen me talk about this before if you're taking those pills i want you to understand why you have to take those pills you have to understand how they're gonna help you you have to look at every pill you're taking it's like okay i'm taking this is it working how do i know if it works well for blood pressure to know if your medications are working you have to make sure that when you check your numbers they are within normal limits i know that i talk about buying a blood pressure cough but if you live in the u.s you go to kroger you go to walmart you go to walgreen you go to cvs any of those pharmacies they all have free even uh, a sam's club they all have free blood pressure machines so all you do you put your hand in there and it will check your blood pressure so there is no excuses but one thing is again me being a man i know a lot of the time we are very much in denial so we in denial we're just thinking oh yeah it's okay yeah it's gonna be good yeah it's this and or we may be blaming it on a lot of the things we may be like it's because of stress it's no problem you know so uh yes my friend who thought i was uh african-american i'm haitian actually i'm haitian uh well i'm i'm haitian american um so but yeah i'm originally from haiti blood pressure 100 uh over 78 that's pretty good uh, that's pretty good actually it's on the lower side but yeah if you feel good no symptoms then that's great keep it up uh so what i was saying what i was about to say is like me being a man i know a lot of the time i do this and we all do this so we always blaming something else oh well my blood pressure is elevated because this girlfriend is just stressing me out well uh my blood pressure is elevated because of we have a lot of because 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 well maybe we should be conscientious of the issue that we have so we could fix it it is not necessarily 
that you have to be on medications because I know, especially men, because some of those medications can kind of interfere with your sexual life, then I know for men, sometimes it could be hard for them to know they're going to be on the medications, which just, you know, a side note, if you ever have any sexual side effects with the medications that your doctor give you, you need to be able to have that conversation with them, talk to them, and they will tell you exactly what you need to do we almost at 10k people thank you for tapping appreciate it so talk to them so they could give you something else to counteract the effect that you have usually my patients i'm not even gonna wait for you to tell me but i do know a lot of the time especially if your blood pressure is continues to be elevated or i feel like you are not really compliant with taking the medicine i will be having that conversation with you i'll be like bro what's going on are you having some issue with performance sexually and you're gonna say yes and what i do i'm gonna go ahead and give you some other medications to help you with your performance because the thing is i want you to continue to take medications but i want you to continue to enjoy your life that's extremely important if you can't enjoy your life it could interfere with you taking the medicine however the number one thing we need to accept that yes i have this issue we have to accept that this number is elevated i check it the machine says it i check it in different machines every day i come to the doctor they always see that it's elevated and this is what it is i have to agree with that once i agree with that then i will get better because again once again it's not necessarily that i have to be taking some pills but at least what you can do is start exercising start looking at what you put in your body start looking at all the salts that you're eating so those are the things that you could be doing because once you do that guess what's gonna happen you can lower your blood pressure you end up like i have some brothers actually who would come by here man i i'm like every day i i I'm really, it's, it hurts me because I'm so much worried about them having a stroke. Do you guys know what a stroke is? This is not pleasant. Okay. This is not pleasant. What is the normal blood pressure readings? Usually 120s over 30s. But again, once, once again, it could be your doctor may say, hey, for you, I'm going to take a normal like 135 or it could even be 138. So really, it depends. But usually the normal numbers that we want, we want a 120s over the 80s. That will be the, the good number. My friend Roy Barra, thank you for helping us reach the 10K. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Um, so the thing is. We need to know what's going on so we can take care of it, okay? So if we have to exercise, like I said, I have a lot of, again, don't mind me, blood pressure is a chronic condition. But remember, a lot of the issue, if you look at the risk for blood pressure, so you have a lot of it, like lifestyle has contributed a lot. The more weights you put on, the more risk of your blood pressure to go up. The less you exercise, the more risk of your blood pressure to go up. The more salt that you eat, the more risk for your blood pressure to go up. What else do I have to tell you? <laughs> I'm already giving you the answer, right? Let me drink a little water here. Let me drink a little water. Thank you, everybody, who's tapping on that screen here. Every person, sweet cheeky, how you doing? Well, I'm glad my friend is better after getting the knee injection. So yeah, I know we talk about it. I'm happy that you are better. I was so sad that you were hurting. I hate when I know somebody's hurting. And I know that day we were talking about back pain and you were dealing with this. But my dear friend, I'm happy that you're better.
my friend sweet cheeky saying omg i feel great now thinks it's because of your advice i'm doing better oh jesus what is a good motivation what is a good reason for me to continue to do what i do what is a good testimony of the purpose of what your brother jb's doing here thank you thank you for sharing i appreciate that and it says your advice motivates me to do better oh jesus i'm happy that i could be <laughs> some assistance i appreciate what you do well thank you very very much people this is exactly why i do what i do but to be honest with you the credit is not just to me but it's an appreciation to every single one of you the ones of you including you too queen sweet cheeky um but the people like ingrid all those people Olaid, queen nicole I mean, all these people who are giving you gifts, who are encouraging what you're doing, Fendi, you know, all these people, uh, Renee Clark. So you have all these queen who are supporting what we're doing. And again, once again, this is the reason that I continue to do what I do, you know, so come on, guys, can show it. So I really appreciate you sharing this. But again, once again, it explains why I said a great part of my day is actually to be here and do this. And this is something I will continue to do. This is something that I feel this is how I could help my community. Uh, what I'm working on is trying to reach even more people, getting more people to know that information, getting more people to get that type of motivation uh thank you Renee clark for the love for the roses that you are currently giving to your brother i truly appreciate you you know how much you mean to this show so thank you again for giving me those beautiful roses uh so yes uh uh i really appreciate the support like uh my queen <laughs> sweet cheeky said show let's show our support but i will appreciate it i have a lot of people supporting me this is the only way that i could keep this going we only keep going because we have so many people who show that they like what we're doing who show that they want to be part of what we're doing so again this is why we are doing what we're doing so we appreciate everybody who are who been here who been very supportive of us uh my friends uh <laughs> sweet cheeky says come on let's go to 20k so um yes we could do 20k K like all we have to do is tap 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 just keep tapping on the screen and before you know it we're already at 11 we could go up to 20k but again i really have to take this minute to really say uh how much that i appreciate every single person that is here whether you're here for the first time whether you've been here whether you've been supporting me whether you are a subscriber to this platform on TikTok, whether you are one of the people who's also supporting me by subscribing me on facebook or on instagram or youtube I'm just very appreciative of you for taking the time. There's a lot of things that you could be doing with this precious time of yours, but you decide to just come here and support what I am doing. So I really appreciate every, every single one of you. Let's tap on the screen.
my queen Anne Benson, thank you for tapping on the street. Everybody else, every other queen, uh, a king or prince, princess who are tapping, thank you for the love, thank you for the appreciation. As I told you guys, today would be kind of a little shorter version of a show. Once again, everything will be loaded on YouTube. If you miss anything, it will be available on YouTube. If you are new uh, right now or you just join, we encourage that you follow me. Uh, follow me so you know whenever I'm live the next time so you don't miss uh, the opportunity to be part of the show. Today, we talked about high blood pressure we'll look at different things that you can do to prevent you from getting uh, elevated blood pressure but we also discuss the management of blood pressure like how can you work with your doctor and uh, getting it managed if you have elevated blood pressure already hey uh, Juliet in the house how are you doing Juliet uh, underscore 2 p.m. thank you for being here but yeah, so we also look at uh, different things, different ways of managing. We look at stroke. We look at the, the negative impact of elevated blood pressure. Those are the things that we covered today on this great show. Once again, if you miss anything, we have the whole show will be available, will be loaded on our YouTube platform. Once again, everybody who are here, who are part of this great opportunity, thank you for letting me. Kelly, how are you doing? Kelly Stansel. My queen, Kelly Stansel. It's been a while that I have not seen you, dear. Where have you been? But uh, thank you for joining. Uh, it looks like you joined a little late, but just so you know, the whole show will be available on the YouTube channel. Miss Sandra, Miss Sandra, how you doing? Uh, thank you for joining, Miss Sandra. Again, uh, Kelly Stencil, I'm happy to see you here. My friend Julieta, my friend, how you doing? Uh, one of the biggest supporters of the Go JB. I'm happy that you are back. Welcome back to the Go JB Health. Again, once again, I am very happy that uh, everybody came here and showed me some love. Once again, uh, thank you guys uh, for being here. Thank you guys uh, for being part of uh, this uh, great effort of education. Once again, thank you. Continue to follow the things that I post out there on this page. At least I post one to two small short videos every day. I, put, well, I post one to two videos every day. So once again, guys, thank you. I love every single one of you and, and uh, you know, precisely uh, the people who are uh, truly, truly big supporters of this show. So thank you again for everything that you do. Continue to follow me. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm very close to everybody, all my followers. So once again, thank you, people. I will be here uh, tomorrow. I'll be here. We're going to talk about an amazing topic tomorrow. So stay tuned. It will be a great time. Thank you, my friend Ann Benson, for subscribing on my um on my uh, on my YouTube, thank you once again. So I'm hoping that other people go on the YouTube at Go JB Health, so you could subscribe to my platform at Go JB Health. Again, the people who have not been subscribed into the TikTok, you could always be a subscriber on TikTok. Uh, so uh, uh, my friend Roy Bear, Bear, thank you for being here. Thank you for the support today. I appreciate you. Um, thank you for being here. Once again, 
everybody has a great day everybody go on your youtube give me a subscription if you know anybody who's interested in knowing how the body works if you know anybody who could be benefiting from these videos please share it with them remember that you could always use that sound the go jb sound to create your videos too so you could use this sound to create your videos continue to share your brother continue to help me to educate my people continue to encourage me to be a good influence in my community again guys you helping me do this and i truly appreciate you my queen Rene Clark, thank you for your support, for your continuous support. You are one of the biggest queen, one of the biggest stone in the foundation of this great show. So everybody, once again, if I don't say your name, it's not because I don't love you, because I love every single one of you. Thank you for being here, guys. Once again, have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow at 1 30. We will be live talking health care. Thank you. This concludes our great health education show for today. Thank you very much. Thank you to every, every single one of you who spent this precious time with us. Again, if you are new to this platform, we encourage that you follow us so you know whenever we are live the next time. The show comes on every day, Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. My name is JD. I'm a family nurse practitioner who believes in educating his people, who believes in supporting his brothers and sisters by sharing his knowledge with them. If you missed the show again, it will be available on our YouTube channel. And if you have not followed us on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, we encourage that you do that now. Again, once again, the people who tap on the screen to give us the likes, the people who shared the video, the people who became new followers, those who gave us gifts on the show, the roses, we want to say thank you to every one of you. Thank you to the people who subscribe to this platform. We want to say thank you to every one of you. Thank you for believing that together we could promote health, that together we could educate hundreds, hundreds of million people. I want to say thank you to every one of you. I really appreciate the support that I have all throughout this country, but also even all over the world. We have a lot of people supporting this great project of education. Again, thank you for being here. Until I see you the next time.